Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back, everybody. So, guys, we're looking at just some headlines on stolen uranium. There was, what was that, about six months ago, I think there was, maybe it was even longer than that. There was several instances of different types of uranium that was stolen. And honestly, you know, we, we had this, have had discussions with somebody that's, um, let's just say, you know, very high up in the alphabet soup agencies here in the in the states um, that did confirm that they have been very, very concerned with all the missing weaponry at the breakup of the Soviet Union going way, way back to those days. There were many, mm, well, there was uranium. Let's just say what that, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. That could be encased in things as small as a suitcase. And they might be kind of dirty, if you guys know where we're coming from. That went missing with the breakup of the Soviet Union. And if you just search here, uranium stolen, we see articles from nine days ago talking about stolen radioactive material that could be used in BOMBs uh, from Chernobyl. And of course, you know, that's regarding this uh, conflict that's going on over there. But there's other cases, too, that's talking about uh, potential hazards. And, you know, there was uranium that was used in some tools that were stolen from some trucks. You guys remember all that? That wasn't too long ago. I know it. I know. I know it wasn't too long ago. And the only reason I'm mentioning it is because we see unsafe levels of uranium have been detected in two-thirds of the public drinking water in the United States. Two-thirds of the public is drinking water that has unsafe levels of uranium, especially in the Midwest and the South. Researchers at Columbia University found that two-thirds of U.S. drinking water systems have elevated levels of uranium, Around 90% of Americans use community drinking water systems, making it a wide-reaching problem in the U.S. And, you know, not to mention in ingesting it, but just even taking baths in it and showering in it. Hypertension, cardiovascular disease, kidney damage, and lung cancer all have been tied to uranium exposure. Also, elevated levels of arsenic, which can also kill you, barium, well, that's up in the sky, isn't that a lot? Uh, chromium, selenium were found in many drinking water systems around the country as well. And this is a map that shows you the numbers, and the higher the numbers, the, the worse the instances. So you could see what number is closest to your area and you know gauge some of the risk that you might, you might be facing yourself with the situation. And again, it, it begs to the question of, are you? I hope everybody is filtering their water. Now, one of the things that we also wanted to touch on is check locally. Check locally. Um, I'll jump over here. So this is Texas County Public Water Supply District 2. And just check. Just do a Google search. Type in your own county, whatever your county is. And just see if you can find what the recent results were on the test on your drinking water. And so here you see one contaminant detected that exceeded the health guidelines. And there's five total contaminants. And what is it? It's nitrates. And nitrates and nitrite can definitely cause cancer. Some naturally occur in things like uh, in some wines and products like that as well. There's actually some that occur naturally in fruits. Um, but there's other types like in processed meats that are known to greatly increase your risk of certain cancers. So here, 4.2 times their health guidelines amount that they recommend. That's pretty, that's something to be concerned of. And when you look at it, how can you get rid of it? Well, you know, many people say, I filter my water, I'm fine. Activator carbon doesn't do it, you know. So here you have to look at what will get rid of nitrates and nitrite, if that's the case. Reverse osmosis will and ion exchange. So again, 
I would recommend everybody check out their own public water supply to get the details on what's happening near you. I know, as if we didn't have enough things to worry about. But hey, the good news is, is we kind of are learning how to narrow, narrow, narrow our searches down as far as looking for things that are going to harm us so we can fix that. And so going back to the uranium, they can cause non-malignant respiratory diseases like fibrosis, emphysema, nephrotoxicity, can actually cause cell necrosis. That's when the cells die. Extremely high acute exposures have been also been lethal due to kidney failure, renal failure, from oral or inhaled exposure, and heart failure. Lots of heart failure out there as well. And also can cause a lot of abnormalities and as well as can also uh, cause so many things that we're seeing out there, such as, again, fertility issues. You gotta wonder, guys, don't you? You just gotta wonder, and, and I'll have all this attached for you guys. EU faces historic decline in living standards. U.S., much of the world as well, we're seeing this. And this is partly because of the sanctions on Russia, but other things as well. We talked about uh, losing a year and a half's life expectancy last year in the U.S. That was huge. That hasn't happened since World War II. Bank of Russia eases more capital controls because things are actually getting better in Russia. Isn't this curious? Isn't this curious? Financially, they seem to be straightening out. Isn't that curious? Meanwhile, we have global food prices exploding higher in March. And, you know, the whole economic situation and the war on top of that is really actually seems to be hitting NATO countries and the U.S. very high, it, it can, especially compared to Russia. Though Russia did activate, uh, I think it was 60,000 more troops there they recruited in. Food prices soared to record levels. And again, a lot of African countries are going to be feeling that first. And those are places, again, that, that they walk a fine line with starvation and famine. David Stockman on the coming stock market crash of biblical proportions. All part of that great reset, which we talked about today on Evolutionary, in which they buried the video as they do. We know which the games they play. They play AI games. And... You know, many people have said, yeah, didn't get any notifications, no notifications. It's because, again, you know, they only want one side of the story, their story, coming out. U.S. gas line production set to fall on lack of pipelines. It's, it's again, it's an all-too-perfect storm. But good news, rejuvenation of women's skin could tackle diseases of aging. And this is also another part of it that will be coming out once we get through this really rough patch that we're in now that I, I do expect is going to last through 2025. I think we're in the thickest of the thick of things. You know, some might say we're in the second half of the tribulation. I would say so. I mean, definitely people are having a hard time and it's it's becoming quite noticeable. So, you know, this is actually a magnified skin cell from a 53-year-old woman, but it looks and behaves like one that's 30 years younger. They're going to be unveiling technology that's going to blow our minds. And again, you know, it's it, it's going back and forth between giving you the stick and then giving you the carrot. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely going to play this for what it's worth and milk as much as they can. Scientists in Cambridge believe they can do the same thing with other tissues in the body as well. As they say, they have rejuvenated a 53-year-old woman's skin cells, so they are equivalent of a 23-year-old. Hmm. Very interesting. And I, I wonder what you're going to have to do to get some of these treatments. Well, I'm sure you're going to have to have conformity with, you know, everything that is out there as far as those dates for men, if you know what I mean. And, you know, test it first on sheep. Remember Dolly the sheep? It was created using cloning to find cures for diseases of aging. All this is actually technology they've had a very, very long time. Very long time. We're going back before 2006 with uh, Dolly the sheep. 
because, you know, this is, again, uh, technology that really doesn't come from planet Earth, ultimately. And all that will be revealed as well. So, you know, again, it, it's going to be a mix of things. Will there be med beds? There probably will. But, again, you're going to have to have followed certain conditions. What is this Elon Musk? You know, there's rumors that Elon Musk is a reptilian. Now, we got that, yeah, he's definitely E.T. Oh, yeah, he's definitely not, you know, what we would perceive as, like, you and I. Hmm? Yeah, but then again, ultimately, you know, we're all kind of from other places when you get down to it. We are definitely, you could say hybrids, you could say we're mutts, mm -hmm. you know, because we, we have many different star systems in our different backgrounds, depending on the person. But that's part of the bigger picture that will be revealed as well. I just thought this was cute because this looks like some sort of ship or spaceport or maybe a mothership. And then just looking at other people's, you know, tweets that came on uh, down the line, you know, it makes you think of Ua Mua Mua, which again was that ship that came in and then boomeranged around the sun doing exactly what we said that we would do if we were to do interstellar travel. Yeah, some are equating it to Star Wars and Darth Vader. Dum, 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 da, dum, dum, da, dum. And, and some were actually equating it to the Borg. And now you're getting there. Resistance is futile, Elon. Now you're getting there. Because, again, he's talking about the merger of humanity with technology, the human merger with AI. Sure, you want to live a long time? Sure. They'll just start replacing organs. Will Elon do a new new arc? That would be an interesting arc. Mm -hmm. Take some of humanity off maybe for a trip to Mars or maybe even a trip to Nibiru. I would think so. You know, I mean, what are they going to do with this AI? I bet you they'll be able to repair all kinds of things inside the human body as long as you do something. Yeah, as we see again, that cube we talked about before, there's a cube in Mecca. Mm -hmm. And New Jerusalem, when it comes down, it's a shape of a cube as well. Of course, Elon's was a little more rectangular than a cube. But yeah, what do you guys think about Elon Musk? As they say on paper, he is the richest person in the world. And, you know, some have brought up that there are banking families such as the Red Shields uh, that are probably richer. Again, when we go digital... Whoever needs an extra digit that's part of the control group, they get an extra digit or two. Mm -hmm. uh, not the same with the rest of us. Right. I know <laughs> we have to just kind of get by. Absolutely. So I just thought that was fun. But again, thank you guys for your support on Patreon and also on Ko-Fi where you could do a one-time donation to support the channel or monthly. Um, those of you that do set up appointments and things like Vedic astrology charts, energy work, just spiritual coaching as well. This is what we use um, as far as the donations. We do work on a donation basis. There is a suggested range that seems to be the average of what people do. Um, do check out evolutionaryenergyarts.com as well if you haven't, and it'll tell you more about us. And do check out Medicinal Foods. There's a link in every video. There is also a coupon code. It's EEA. Use that. You get a discount. It does support the channel. There's going to be a video coming out uh, in about six, seven hours. And that's going to be about intermittent and prolonged fasting because with all this that we're seeing, you got to be detoxing. If you're not going to be detoxing, you're going to have a toxic overload in your body. And fasting is one of the easiest things, one of the best ways to do that. Everybody is unique. Everybody has your own circumstances. You might have diabetes and, and all, again, we have to say in this world, check with the professionals. Yeah. You know, go check with the Rockefeller School. I mean, uh, go check with your MD. Absolutely. Thank you so much. God bless and namaste. Namaste.